Hello everybody, I am Tony. Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, special welcome to you. Today I'm going to be getting into my highlighter collection. I um, was going to show my palette collection first, but it ended up that they're in the cloud. They're not saved directly to my phone, so I have to download them from the cloud to put a video up. That's why I haven't put a video up, and I was house-sitting at somebody else's house, so I didn't have access to, like, my own computer and things like that. So, it's been a mess. So, I'm going to film this for you guys real quick, and then from there, um, we will... I'll get the other ones up in a day or two. I'm really sorry about that, guys. I'm meant to get it up. All right. Um, I'm going to lean you guys down, and you can look at all my stuff on the floor again. Okay. Let me move my chair so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, we'll get the big one out of the way. This is the Marc Jacobs uh, Omega Glaze Highlighter in showstopper I'm not gonna swatch in this video because it will take forever but this looks like this it actually looks really pinky on the skin it's really beautiful color um, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say the word beautiful but it is what it is this is the L'Oreal true match Lumi powder glow illuminator my mom picked this up for me let me see if I can there we go. That's about the best I'm going to get. My mom picked this up for me, and I have dug into certain pans more than others, but I do like this highlighter, and I do use it from time to time. Um, the next one is this Milani Ludicrous Lights. Now, when I bought this, I didn't realize that this packaging was holding nothing but solid glitter. <laughs> So I bought it, it was on clearance at Ulta, and when I put it on, there was glitter everywhere for like three days. It's beautiful, and the print on it is beautiful and everything, but it is just a little too much for me. Um, I thought about it, and I think over this summer, I'm going to do a declutter series with my makeup, because I just have too much. Um, and I can't use it all. There are other people that need it way more than I do. This is the I Heart Revolution Tasty Strawberry. This is what this looks like. It's adorable. Come on. Come on. You want to. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I can only control so much, you know? Alright, and this is by Revolution also. This is called the Skin Kiss. This is... Let me try to get it to... Come on. There you go. You can see the colors now. Um, there's five different colors in the pan. It's actually really beautiful blend it out and everything. It's not too bright. It's not too dull. It's perfect. Um, I really use this a lot. I got this at TJ Maxx, I think, for $4. So, can't beat that. Okay. Next up, I have this Steve Laurent Jelly Highlighter. I have done... Come on, not the ones. There we go. I have done some serious damage to this thing putting it on my face, but this is one of the most beautiful highlighters I own, hands down. Like, I don't have a better highlighter than this, I don't think. I could be wrong, but I don't think. Um, okay, let's just go with this. This is the ColourPop um, Monster. It's a like champagne with a pink shift here there you go you can see it a little bit there I'm just trying to make sure everything kind of shows up on the screen this thing is falling apart I need to get a new one this is the physician's formula butter highlighter and it's white and iridescent come on you want to 
show yourself. Let me take the lid off. I don't think that'll help, but let's see. Come on. There we go. See, it's all falling apart, but it's so beautiful when you put it on the skin. It's a beautiful champagne color that doesn't really have any shifts. It just stays champagne. It's absolutely stunning. Okay. Um, next up, I have this... What is her name? I'm thinking of somebody else. Um... What is it? I have like four of her palettes right there. Um, Dominique Cosmetics. Yeah, this is the Skin Glass. I don't like this product at all. So whenever I do my declutter, this will be part of it. Like if you, if I can get a little bit of a, yeah, you can see there. I swatched it and that was it. There's like a swatch down and a swatch up. I tried it twice. I hate it. It's awful I think but I mean everybody's different you never know you know what you're gonna get okay so up next I have this moon cruiser highlighter from Kaleidos and this is messy but it looks like <sighs> come on come on it looks like this it's really pretty it's um white with a pink and blue shift and then this is Mars Melter from Kaleidos this is freaking beautiful for a highlight this is um white with a red shift not a pink shift a red shift it's amazingly beautiful like really beautiful okay the next thing I have is my colored rain Focal Point Glow Lighter in Cutie Pie. And this is like a highlighter blush. Come on, show up on the screen. There we go. So this is something I use for like blush topping and stuff like that. Blush draping, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it looks really pretty on the skin. I just don't use it enough because it's in the back of my drawer. Um, that's one thing I need to do is start rotating my makeup again. Okay, now I have two of these. I don't know which one's the good one and which one's the bad one. Let's find out. That one's the bad one. Okay, these are exactly the same, but this one, the pans in it are whole. If they'll show up. Come on. There we go. Um, I think that's about the best I'm going to get see it's falling already um yeah that's about the best it's gonna get this is the blush over here and then this is the highlight the highlights just not showing up at all and then this one is the same exact thing but the highlight broke um hmm. we just did Natasha Denona we'll do the other one this is the Natasha Denona All Over Glow. It is this color. It's, I think it's number one. Yeah. Number one. And it is a beautiful champagne shade of highlighter. I just like it. I haven't had it for very long. I haven't even really used it yet. Um, I just got it before I went on vacation and I didn't take it with me. This is the Glow Brick from Glam Glow. It looks like this. Come on. There we go. Okay. There is a white, a pinkier one, and then a bronzier one. There we go. It's very, very pretty, and I've used it quite a bit, but I haven't touched it in forever because it sits in the back of the drawer. I'm noticing a theme here. <laughs> Okay, um, let's see. This is the Soft Glow Highlighter in Heavenly from Koki Cosmetics. And this looks like this. It is also a really beautiful like, champagne type of color. 
Next up, this is a very interesting highlight. This is by Artist Couture. This is called Purple Dream. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get you guys to see this or what it can do. Oh, okay, there's some in the pan. Let me see if there's any way. Maybe if I put some on. I know I said I wasn't going to swatch, but this is so freaking cool. It's actually worth it. All right, no, it's not gonna work because of the light being so bright. I'm actually gonna swatch the heck out of that and I'll show you guys what it looks like whenever um, we're done doing things. Whenever we're done doing the video. There we go, can't talk. Don't know what I'm talking about. Um, come on close properly. Okay. Let me get this so I don't have highlighter everywhere. Okay. <clears throat> Next up, we'll go with this palette. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, sorry, iced out highlighter. I know everything is so cruddy because my lights are like drowned and out everything. You know what? Give me a second. How about that? Is that better? Maybe? Maybe? Well, there's that. You can see it's white with gold in it. Um, gonna see if that works. If it does, we'll just keep the lights on that way. Alright, let me go through this little stack here. And then this is from Estate Cosmetics. This is called Do Me. It is a beautiful pink um highlighter that I got from Ipsy forever ago. I had this Milk Makeup Holographic Highlighter. This is the only one of these that I have, so I keep it. Just for that simple fact, just because I might need it one day for Halloween or God only knows what, but um, I just can't get rid of it. This is from Real Her. This is Confidence in My Glow. And it looks like this. This is another champagne -y color, but it's almost too dark for me. I would have to mix that with a lighter color highlighter to make it work for me. The next one I have is by Essence. This is the Pure Nude Highlighter. And this is this color. It's a really bright, dark silver, or gold, not silver. Um... This looks like it will be too dark also, but I can mix it with something. Not a problem. Next one I have in that stack is by Makeup Geek, and this is called Midnight Sun. And I don't like it because it's too dark for my skin tone. It's beautiful. I've swatched it like two or three times, but that's it. I haven't used it. It's just too dark. I mean, even when I mix stuff in, it's still too dark. So, I don't know. Okay, we'll go through Ofra real quick. This is Ofra Highlighter in Star Island. Come on. Look at the pan on that. That's proud right there. That's something to be proud of. Okay, next one is the last one I've got. And then this one is Covenant Garden and this one is actually a little too deep for me so I might have to give this away also the next one is in Rodeo Drive and this is beautiful there's pan on that one too I love my Ofra highlights um, this is Pillow Talk in the old packaging but there's that and some pan on that. <laughs> I love Ofra stuff. This is the Ofra Madison Miller collab that they did. And these are the two highlights on the end and the middle is a blush. This blush is gorgeous. And these highlights are really, really pretty. But this one is a little bit too dark for me. This one is almost too dark for me. But I can get away with it by mixing it with other stuff. So, 
I'm just really, really pasty and pale. That's not anybody else's fault. Um, I have a little one here by IBY. It's called Radiant Glow Highlighter. And this is, let's see, this color, it's a champagne, a light champagne color. Very pretty though. Okay. Um, next one. This is the Glam Light Sugar High. I'll open it up and show you what it looks like. It is just this shiny diamond goodness. It's beautiful. Okay. All right. Let's do Becca because I don't know. Why not? Okay. This is in the color Prismatic Amethyst. And I gotta open it from here. This looks like this. It is very beautiful. I absolutely love it. I know some people can't rock a purple highlighter, but I will do it and I'll do it all day long. Okay, next up I have Pearl. This is my one of my new ones. Um, this is what Pearl looks like. It's a really, really, really whitish, um, icy highlighter, and that's why I wanted it, honestly. It matches my skin really well. The next one we have is Lilac Geode. It looks like this. I have used it, I promise. Um... It just doesn't look like it. <laughs> okay, so up next we have the Becca in Gold Lava. And this looks like this. You would think if all those other colors were too dark for me, this would be too dark for me, but it's not. How is that? I would love to ask Becca and have them tell me because it just amazes me. That I can't wear many gold highlights, but I can wear theirs. Um, this is a little baby of Champagne Pop. You all know what this looks like. I don't really need to show you. And then I got a little mini of Vanilla Quartz. Which this has a bunch of pan on it. I don't know if it's going to show or not. I don't know. Come on. Why is it not showing? It's showing a little bit right there, but I don't want to flip it upside down and get highlighter everywhere after what I did with the black eyeshadow the other day. Okay, this is by Beauty Creations. It's a pink and yellow highlighter. It doesn't have a name. Um, it looks like this. It's really, really pretty, but I don't use it too too often. It is really blinding for a really cheap highlighter because it was cheap. I got it at Walmart or something. This is a highlighter that I got around Halloween time. Um, I'm not sure if it was last year or the year before, but this is one of those things from Wet n Wild. And somehow it got all swirled together, but it was in lines. And I would actually use this, and I would swipe across it in lines and use it for eye, eyeshadow. Um, it'll be time to get rid of that sooner rather than later, so I might not pay, take the time to clean it. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Gold Bar. I like this. It's pretty. Um the world okay I'm confused it looks like there's something that comes out of the side of this but I'm probably wrong oh well anyway this is a really really pretty color of gold it had an overspray over part of it it's whatever um this is one of the hello halo um Wet and Wild um, duos of blush and highlighter. 
There. This is my second one. This one is I Met Someone. And that's more of a gold and a peach. There we go. Okay, I have this one. This is a little out there, but I keep it for like Halloween reasons and stuff like that. This is in Halo Walkers. Um, it looks like, wait, it, it looks like a Smurf. Like this light is not doing it any justice. It looks like a freaking Smurf. It is so blue. And when you put it on, it gets even crazier. Um, <clears throat> I have Blossom Glow. Looks like this. Just a pinky champagne highlighter. I have this one, which I really like. This is Glow Watcher. Didn't I just do that? No, I did Halo Walker. Um, and this is, I think, a duochrome? Let me see. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. It's white. Like, straight white. Look at my hand. Okay. <clears throat> Next up, I have a Wet n Wild Baked um, Highlighter. This is I'll Have a Cosmo. And it looks like that. It's really beautiful. Um, the whole way around. <clears throat> okay. I don't want to get... Let me show you guys the last two solid highlighters I have. And then I have two little palettes and then a couple liquids. This is After Hours by Wander Beauty. It is a pretty gold highlighter, believe it or not. Like I said, my lights are playing tricks on me. And then this one is... <clears throat> in After Hours. Is that what that one was? Yeah. They're the same color. Never mind. Okay, so one of those has to go. Um, this is by Wander Beauty also. This is the Wanderous Dust Till Dawn palette. <sighs> this is one blush. Well, one regular blush, one shimmery blush, and then a highlight. I'm not showing you that. This is a regular blush. This is a, uh, um, like highlighter blush, and then this is a highlighter. So, pretty cool. Next up, I have this little four pan revolution highlighter thing. It's really pretty and beautiful. Like, it looks, hold on. It looks like they are swirled in the pans. Like, it's, they're beautiful. Okay, now I got one of these um, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick in Highlight. This is also, yeah, it's just a Mega Glow. Alright, I got this Cargo Cosmetics um, Liquid Highlighter in the color Champagne. It looks like that. It's a little bit darker than Champagne if you ask me. But I'm not swatching everything right now, so I could be kind of wrong. Okay, I have a mini of this little milk um, illuminator. It's, what is it called? Tight? I have no idea. I can't see. Oh, well. You guys might know what that is. Okay, I have this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in... Moonstone, and it's this kind. It, these are really good for like your inner corner and then doing under your brow bone because they stay all night long. They will not budge. Really good for that. I have my Frisali Unicorn Essence, which I'm not totally sure why this is in here, but I kind of understand why. And then last but not least, I have this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Slim Light in the color I can't read you um trying to look but I can't tell this thing has been through the ringer very much 
Um, it looks like this. Like, if you take it, you just draw it on. Like, I have this right next to that white one, so you're not going to be able to see it that good. But, it, you just draw it on. It's great also for an inner corner. Um, okay, so that's the end of the highlighter portion of the video. I'm just standing you guys up for a minute. Um, let me see if I can get this, this highlighter right here. It's orange, pink, and purple. And I'm trying to get it to flash... Like, I can see the pink, I can see the orange, but I can't see the purple right now. And I know it does it because I've seen it. I mean, you need different kind of lights to bring out different kinds of highlights. So, I guess that's why. But anyway, um, I'm going to get going. I'm really tired and I got to get my foot up. So, I am going to publish this tonight and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow hopefully I'll figure out how to get those um videos out of the cloud and get them on here so I don't have to worry about it I love you guys if you're here for the um giveaway please tell me one thing in your life that you like to collect whatever it may be men cookies lipsticks I don't know, clothes, whatever. Just tell me something you collect. All right, I'll talk to you guys very soon. I love you all very much. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you, and I will talk to you soon, wherever you are, whatever time of day it is. I hope you're having a great one, and that's it. Bye, guys.